Du wurdest besiegt. Ja, ich brauche dazu erstmal ein Bett, du Pfeife. Der hat dich platt gemacht. Ach nee. <lacht> Voll auf die 12. Ja, ja. Da kriegt er aber wieder. Wieso war die, der, dieser komische Nagel jetzt ausgerüstet? Für die Knarre. Warum war das Ding jetzt ausgerüstet? This man stung me with his face, his crucifix. This is not good news. <coughs> So. Auf die Fresse. Hat doch gerade noch was geleuchtet, oder nicht? Ne, hier ist nichts. Ja, ich weiß, dass ich Punkte ausgeben kann. Ich brauche erstmal ein Bett, du Idiot. Meine Herren. Ach, das ist ein doofer Zettel. Jetzt geht's mir besser. Das hilft mir trotzdem nicht weiter. Oh, das ruckelt jetzt aber übel. Was ist denn da jetzt los? Ich glaube, ich sollte mir langsam mal ein Bettchen suchen und Feierabend machen. Ich glaube, die Grafikkarte will gerade nicht mehr.
Jetzt hat sich ein bisschen wieder beruhigt. Was war das denn? Oder wurde hier jetzt hier im Hintergrund ein Update gezogen? Der schon wieder. Probier es mal hier. Na, jetzt geht's doch voran. Da wieder diese Special-Fässer. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott, at your service. No. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. So, ich weiß das. Ich weiß das, was ich wissen will. Ach, von der Seite geht's. So ein Bullshit. So, langsam bräuchte ich trotzdem mal ein Bettchen. So langsam und allmählich. Pay me a glass and I'll be gentle. Pay me a bottle and I'll be nasty. Uh. You are blind. It's not my call, Barrett. You pay one way or another. Please, Joe. How long have we known each other? In deinen Unterschlupf. Ja, aber ich... Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again. Go away. Bandstufe 2 benötigt. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <lacht> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see, Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. Na geht doch. Kann ich mir jetzt hier irgendwo hinhauen? Darf ich hier liegen? Nein. 
Nix darf ich. It's locked. Boah. Mr. T, danke für die 30 Bits. Doch Corona, äh, was? Darf ich irgendwo mich mal hinlegen? Luke, danke für 100 Bits. Jetzt, jetzt, auch mal, jetzt ist auch mal gut hier. Mr. T, danke für 99 Bits. Habt ihr keine Hobbys? <lacht> danke. What do we have here, Nurse? Patient Raz van Vasily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, Nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. He's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Scalp, hand me that scalp. What can I do, Doctor? Bass? <coughs> It's too dangerous to operate with these convulsions. Sedative, nurse. Do we have any anesthetics? I'm sorry, Doctor. None at all. Mm. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Don't question me, nurse. I need a drain. Now. Yes, doctor. He's still bleeding, Doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? I... I can't see. <coughs> I must... First, suture the artery. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor! Cardiac massage, now. Cardiac... what? Are you making this up as you go along? Irgendwie schon. <lacht> Tschüss. We've lost the pulse. He... He's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. 
But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. <coughs> Test my bedside manners. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Your heart might be in the right place, but you can't carry on with this blackmail. For God's sake, Dorothy, it's extortion. It's a serious crime. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So? Are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Nurse Crane, there is no question that the work you've done here is extraordinary. But this dispensary is incapable of coping with the outbreak. It's only a question of days before the situation at hand will overwhelm us. I cannot allow it. It's my duty to put an end to this immediately. I'm not ashamed. I did what was right. For in the end, I saved lives and you took them. But we had so much in common, Doctor. Don't you see that? Okay. It's one of them. Ah, oh, shit! You paid for that. Haben die jetzt die Patienten getötet, ja? Okay. So, jetzt aber nur still weg. Hat nichts gemacht. Nichts gemacht. Bin nur ein Tourist. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so to Kill it, boy! Hä?
geht's aber los hier. Jetzt seid man nicht so unhöflich. Muss ich erstmal wieder orientieren durch die Scheiße. Mann. Immer dasselbe mit euch. Nicht mein Problem. So, kann ich noch schnell hier berichten. Aber dann ist Schluss. Ach da. Ähm. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. You killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. No need to apologize, my lady. I know exactly what you endure. The situation is somewhat awkward, nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed, permanently. You will not be bothered anymore by the woman. And who was this woman? If you must know, she worked under my employ as Nurse Crane. But I'll wager that's not what will be written on her gravestone. You killed her? Is that what you consider discretion and diplomacy, Dr. Reed? I did what I thought was best, and acted according. You will learn that trust is a rare and precious commodity in the Immortal's world, my young doctor. And your actions have not induced me to offer you my support. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known <coughs> amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders? As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now. And 27 I shall remain. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. And who bestowed upon you this? Eternal youth. My maker. 
He left this isle a long time ago. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Scowls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. What type of vampire is a Skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here, in the city. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something <coughs> malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well-trained. Though I can't be certain. More than likely, it was the once glorious guard of Prewen. Once glorious, but still... They have seen be... You make them... More assist... Ja, das Quatsch geht mir langsam echt auf die Ketten. Are there many? <coughs> do you know it? You mean your... What do you mean? Every now and... Will they all... I do not see... That sound... Vampire... I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. How could this cause... Only the powerful... Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution. And I'm no fool. A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word. Defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No. You are now an Ekon, and that you shall remain. Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget... So we are Ekons? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you. Consider it. So me being a vampire? I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. I bid you farewell, for now. 
I must quickly analyze the blood I took <clears throat> from Nurse Crane's patient. Weil endlich kann ich in mein Zimmer wieder hoch. Endlich. Aber dann mache ich auch gleich mal dann direkt Feierabend. Bin ja jetzt schon fünf Stunden am Machen, das reicht. Und das Spiel besteht aus überwiegend Gequatsche. Man kann kaum lenken, wenn man mit dem rennt, ne? So. Achttausend Punkte. So, jetzt müsste ja gespeichert sein. <lacht> dann würde ich mal sagen, dann mache ich hier mal Feierabend und raide euch direkt mal zur Paddel weiter. Das habe ich ja nämlich versprochen. Dann würde ich mal sagen, danke für den ganzen Support, für die ganzen vielen Bits, Hosts und Raids und Follows, was auch immer alles noch dabei war. Da würde ich mal sagen... Ich schicke euch jetzt zur Paddel rüber. Und ja, dann bis zum nächsten Mal. Ne? Na denn. Tschüss. Personen. Hallo Alucard, schön, dass du wieder da bist. Na, wie war dein, wie war dein Stream?